Hi, this is Lorena Mora Maure from Mujer Latina Today. We're here in Cincinnati with Marion Peraza de Web and Ash. Ashwarya. Ashwarya. Varma. <laughs> we just finished a wonderful concert, and and I know Marion for mostly most like that ten years ago, yeah. and now she invited me to the concert, and we're here because we would like to share the wonderful news. But before that, let's talk about Marion. Marion, when I met you ten years ago, you were teaching my daughter. Viola, tell me about the process because I saw a big group of students today. Yeah, I have, um, we have a big group of kids that are part of the Parasa Music Workshop. They come every week for a daily, I mean for a weekly lesson and they also get together for group classes and uh, we have lessons at my house and um, we have group classes at the College Hill Presbyterian Church. So, so tell me about you. What is what? Where you found the passion for viola? You play viola. Right. Tell us about that because maybe you were a little girl when you start coming going to Marion classes. Tell me, tell us a little bit about that. Well, um, I first started in Marion's studio when I was about ten years old, and I started playing violin. Um, and you know, right away I knew that this was a very passion studio. Everything that they did was full, everything completely passionately. I mean, there was no, everything was played beautifully. And I, I was just, I was just there and I was like, wow, I, I, I want to stay here. Seriously, this, this is amazing. <laughs> and um, I've really learned so much from her. You know, I've, I've learned that, you know, everything you do, be the best that you can be. Um, yeah. <laughs> but Maria, um, you, you came from Venezuela, we're from Venezuela, we're proud to be from Venezuela. Tell me about that passion from you, because you, you were raised there with, with the, the system. So yeah. tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, that's, that's a big signature. I think everyone that grew up in that system is, is marked forever. Right? You know, you, uh, you so live what, part with music. Of what part of Venezuela are you from? I am from Barquisimeto, from Lara. Barquisimeto. Where is the Dudamel? It's from Barquisimeto. And Dudamel, with the, with the, So you met him? Yeah. Oh my gosh. He was a uh, younger, of course, and uh, my my teacher, uh, my my sorry, my my sister used to teach in theory. <laughs> okay, and he good. was a little boy. He was in my with my same teacher. We were in the same violin studio. Uh, but yeah, I can I imagine that him. was. He was nice. <laughs> Tell me, tell me about the assembly where Achoria belongs. Yeah, well, that you know, little by little, uh, um, we have been, we have different ensembles. The some um, three years ago, we went to Chicago, and uh, we won uh, first place in a, in a competition there. And then from there, they invite us again to come to a different competition you know, again in Chicago. This time was at Orchestra Hall. And we won it again. <laughs> it was uh, against 22 groups from, from all over from across, all the, United across States. the United States. We were the youngest okay. group mm -hmm. and the, the smallest because we are not an orchestra. And that was a huge honor to play in that beautiful hall, on orchestra hall. And uh, do you remember that? Yeah, that's yeah, amazing. That's yeah, that's incredible. So this year we. We went uh, to Washington D.C. to the Strathmore Hall. Uh, it was a smaller group, yeah. 10, 10, 10 kids, 11, 11. 11 kids, and the youngest group I ever took for a, for a ensemble. And the, their ages range from 10 to 15. The, the oldest was 15. You see big kids and uh, the big orchestra and big ensembles. And, and you uh, were afraid again? Oh my God! <laughs> well, we, we, we did it. Did it we did it. And, uh, yeah. I think the kids are confident. I think that most of my pressure was in that when you do something well, there is a lot of expectation. You know, that people. And so you're famous. Like you're yeah, not famous, but you, we, I guess you could say that. No, I don't like to think that I'm famous. But, uh, you know, I just people knew that we were coming and they were expecting. And I was a little nervous because this is a younger group and it's smaller. This one even is smaller than that. The yeah. So usually it's like you're from 18 and older? And that well, group. my other kids that went the two years ago, are the, they are, right now they are, they're going to be seniors. So they are, 
11th grade, you know, the, the kids are 10 years old and 12, 14, you know, 14, 15 is just one of the kids is 15. So like, a, uh, you know, you never know, but they, they were very confident. You're going next year to New York. Well, that's the big news that yeah. after we won that, um, we were honored that I got a phone call and then they say, we would like to invite you. They say, no, um, nothing but a concert, invite you to perform. You're going to be the only only group like you that is invited to. So tell me about traveling to New York. That's your dream? Well, I mean, <laughs> the first time I found out that I was going to Carnegie Hall, I told, like, I, I went to my mother and I was like, Oh my God! I'm going. I'm going to Carnegie Hall. Like that's <laughs> awesome. And I'm just and I'm just texting. You know, another girl in the group. I'm I'm texting her. And I'm like, we're we're going to New York. Like this is awesome. We're going to be in that hall, and everybody's going to be watching us, and we're invited to play. <laughs> so that's even better. I mean, <laughs> and your dream is to continue playing in orchestras, or what is your dream? Uh, going to college and. Well, my dream is probably continue playing violin um, and viola probably for the rest of my life. Yeah. So definitely she's really... Well, you know, the kids, we always think, you know, whatever you do, hopefully you're going to be a doctor, you're going to be an engineer, you're going to be anything you... Music is something and a skill that you're going to keep with you. You know, you can go to to any anywhere and, and play, you know, and uh, be... I, I've met so many wonderful people that they are very good musicians and they don't practice music as a profession but they love music, they still play, they do community orchestra, they do chamber music, there are so many other venues that they can do. I mean, if these kids can take the discipline that they they have attained just by coming to lesson, having to practice, having to dissect so much and decode and decode and practice, slow down. If they can do that in, in chemistry, in, in anything, you know, you're going to be very successful. You know, anything, the, the skills you learn by learning an instrument are so incredible. So today was the final concert, yeah. correct? Mm -hmm. So you're going to start classes or you continue the classes? We keep having lessons. We just won't have a group classes for the summer. We have some commitments. We are going to be performing at OSU. We were the only group invited to perform, sorry. And you're <laughs> going to? Yeah, you said, yes. oh yeah. yeah. So we, we are going to be part of the string workshop, and uh, they invite us to be in the opening night. So that's going to happen during the summer. And there are a couple of more a couple of more performances. But it's a little well, break. but she doesn't want to say it, but they're really famous. No. <laughs> Trust me, because you went to Chicago, you went to Ohio State, and of course New York. So us, can you share a message for and for you too, but first of all, for, to, to oh, inspire sure. the, the, the students. And that is, you know, there's a lot of dedication, but first of all, you need to have passion but, and commitment. Right. You know, um, just love what you do. Honestly, that's the best advice I can give you. I mean, if you don't love what you do, you're not going to do well, but you know, I really love playing viola, and I think that is probably going to get you the farthest um, anywhere, really. That's advice I can give to you when you say if you're playing an instrument or if you're doing math, science, if you're reading, if you just love what you do. That's a, yeah. I think of the, I, I, I think I go with the same uh, message as Ashori. I just work hard in whatever you do, do your best. I always tell the kids, no matter what you do, is if never, never too little to do your best, never not too important to do your best from everything you do. Do your best and work hard. That's what we learn in back home. My dad, my family, the system, you know, is based on on that. There's no nothing but good work. I love it. Then you don't you don't feel like a, you you're working. That's how I feel about teaching. And I love it so much. I never get tired. <laughs> so thank you so much. Thank you, thank Lorena. You. Thank you very much. <laughs>